Hello, Gort here. Um, I am going to be grafting onto the Russian variety rootstock Atovicana and to a uh, Wolf River Scion wood. I have it in a medium of sawdust. Uh, by the way, it is not pine. I have a mix of oak and cherry and little bits of pine, but mostly stuff that won't cause the roots to die. Uh, right now I'm just cleaning my utensils. We are going to be using shears, uh, which I am cleaning with isopropyl alcohol 91%, so it's been watered down 9%. Uh, I'm going to be using my grafting knife, and if I need it, my utility knife, which I just cleaned. Uh, yeah, okay, so there it is, my utility knife. This thing has a lot of good features to it. This guy I just got, so we're gonna see how that works out. And of course the shears so we can cut down. Uh, we're gonna wanna stay about 15 to 18 inches away from the base. Now how you can do that is, I'm, I'm not allowed to go up, am I? Okay. Uh, we got about 12 inches here, okay? On each one of these. So we're actually under the 15 mark. So that's not the best, but we'll work with it. 15 inches from the base of the roots that are coming out here. Um, so we're going to begin right here. Yeah, uh, we're going to begin by the traditional. We're going to get a nice thick one here. This has been dormant, by the way. I got this from a person who trades silent one. So I traded my sweet uh, pear for this Wolf River, which is a well dense apple that's really good for baking onto. I'm going to graft onto, these are Russian variety Anatovacavia. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but basically these are very winter hardy, very resistant to crown rot, and, as well as uh, blight, and uh, it's also very uh, resistant to uh, suckers coming out. So this is a very high quality rootstock, which I got by from a nursery in the state of which I'm in, which is uh, New York. That's right. So, the best way to show you how to do this is basically you're gonna wanna match up your sign with which. So we're gonna wanna match it up to right about there, okay? If you can see that. So we're gonna do 245s. Now how we do that is going to be interesting. Again, we're on this guy. I'm going to leave one of these to see what the natural wood is. I'm going to have to stand, so i got a bud right there. I'm going to go right about here. Now I am going to go towards myself, but remember in the other videos I said some knives you can. This does have two bevels, so I may cut myself, so just letting you know. Yeah, this mother son of a... Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. There's the 45 that you're going to want to get. Go ahead, take a look. That's beautiful. And now, obviously, the law of science says that you cannot take this guy and graft them upside down because it will not work. That's God's design for you right there. So I'm going to do a 45 on this. Here, I'll try to get it so where you can see it. And you see that green? That's very fleshy. That's very good. This has been in the refrigerator again for, oh gosh, for at least two months now. Oh, mother. You want a nice clean cut like so, and then just kind of do the edges. Right there, okay? So that is going to match up with that. So now here's the hard part. But notice how there's very little waves. This is gonna allow the cambium layer in the scion wood to match up with the cambium layer in the rootstock. Again, so what we are doing here is the green in this is the cell dividing layer and the green in this is the cell dividing layer. Attach two together, one being a rootstock and the other being scion wood, you have a whole new tree. 
super thin tape. This is grafting tape. Uh, you can get this at uh, any online website that does gardening or grafting. And uh, basically, this seals up the wound. Uh, we want good bacteria in here and bad bacteria out. So now, those two cuts I made are going to be something like that right there. I think I just screwed up. Something like that right there. Maybe. Maybe not. So I at least know there's going to be something like this mother reaper. Okay, something like that right there, okay? So basically hold it and put mother. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. In there. Uh, again, it's not the easiest one to do. Okay. Now the tape. This is where you need to be like that guy off from Star Wars. Okay, so a very critical thing that we're doing here. Cut her down. Even her out. We're not going to do a... That was a whipping tongue that I was trying, but I, I, I'm very sorry about that, folks. That is how it happens. So, you live in your own. Okay, so again, we're just going to take shears to this. Cut it down to where it's good again. Like so. See, so we're going to make everything flat. Now, uh, though it's small, we're going to do a cleft. A cleft graph. So, uh, you follow the curvature. And you go halfway down the middle, if you can see this, right there. Okay, this one's a much easier one. Split right down the middle, even cut. Take this piece. Take one side, evenly cut it. Take the other, cut it right there. Now this, oh God, that looks so much better. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we're just going to attach that guy right into there. And that is the cleft graft. There is a double cleft graft, but this rootstock is so small. Of course, all rootstock is small. We're going to pick a good piece of this tape. Ripper. You know, it sticks to what it knows itself. Okay, so that should be on there like so. Okay. Yeah, it's a little loose in there, that mother son of a... Uh, so, once you do that... Okay, so, I'm gonna... Son of a... I'm gonna go through and, uh... Um, you see, I'm just doing a half hitch knot here. Right there. Yeah, I know. This looks very bad. Uh, so basically, that's what you're going to do. Uh... And now, once you're ready to plant it, it's going to do that. You know what, folks? You just, you, you leave it alone let it do that. Okay, so now, this will grow into a wolf river. Uh, and since it's uh, resistant to uh, suckers, it won't try to put out... What I'm going to do with that guy is I'm going to just let him grow naturally to see what the apple looks like naturally. Supposedly... It's supposed to be a rather good size yellow apple, but we'll see. Again, these are a standard size, so these will get about 30 foot. I like my standards, so. Okay, we'll zoom ahead. Okay, so this is the whipping tongue, as you can see. Um, it's basically two angled cuts with a tongue in the middle, if you can look right there. Um... This is a very 
hard one to do. I wouldn't suggest this for beginners, but uh, the better you get the technique down, the better it is. I'm going to put the paraffin uh, tape over it, starting here. Stuff. Um, and my my old knife. We're gonna take my old knife, and we're gonna we're gonna clean it. So we're gonna use the isoprofic alcohol. We're gonna clean it because this has rust on it. I'm just gonna go to the next one. Clean right there. See all the germs that came off that? Or the rust? This way it's clean, it's sterile. Then we're gonna. This is the interesting part. This is what takes some other beeping along. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing is we're gonna speed this head, but what I'm doing is getting some of this wax out. Now, normally people will heat it up. Yeah, normally people will heat it up. You can go to the stove if you want to heat it up. Um, so what they'll do is they'll heat this up to, you know, a good temperature. Uh, since we have no mittens or anything. Actually, wait. We do, we do. Negative, we got mittens. Okay. Be again. Be very careful and don't do this at home. As I do this at home. We can just get that guy out right there. Okay. So as you can see, we're heating up the inside just enough to get it lubricated a little. Okay. We're gonna be digging it out there. Okay, we're gonna shut this off for safety. Remember, we shut it off before we left. Okay, so we're. Of course, I don't know why I'm doing this. this is not a big summer. Do I have anything a little bit heavier? Oh, wait, yes, I do. Sunday. There's a. Uh, ha! A little scooper. So sometimes I'll have a little scooper. And it'll just allow me to get in there and get what I need out, you know. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ha. We got it. And our my hands have been washed. So I'm just trying to get it flattened out a little bit again. We're gonna keep some. Uh, this is all natural. It's beeswax, so basically, you can work with your hands with it. It's very highly sticky, so if if you get it on your hands, soap won't. I try to be very safe when I'm doing this and very clean. I. Uh, And then we're going to just take a very little bit right here. And because 
all of this is being protected. But we don't want any of this to, uh, we don't want any of this to dry out. So that's why we have it in a medium. And it's going to be in a room temperature cold place for two weeks. We're going to cap off the top if you can look right here. We're going to try to cap off that top with some of this wax so it can't escape. And the bark is a natural resistance for this. So... We do that right there. And then we make sure everything down here, everywhere, so we make sure everything is on. And again, it warms up with your hands. See? Okay. So now we've done it here and we've done it here. Uh, we don't know how well that graft is in there. But now, as you can see, it's one tree. And when I plant this in May, of course, I'm going to want to water it a lot. I'm not going to want to use any additives like, you know, to enhance the soil because this is bare root stock and that could injure the uh, roots. That's why you just want to put it in the ground, water it bi-weekly or weekly. And we're going to do what we did here to this guy. So we have a cleft and we have a whipping tongue. I showed you both. Again, the whipping tongue is much harder. The cleft a lot stronger because it's pinching it. Uh, I can In some of my videos, I will show you how to do a brim graft. Now, brim grafts are for much older, older. Uh, what is it? Rootstock. Much older rootstock. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead speed this up. And oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. As far as rootstock goes, that is a very high class rootstock. But over here, if you can see this, we have uh, crab apple seedlings. This will eventually be rootstock. And I'm gonna go ahead, speed up the video, and show you the end result. And uh, by the way, this is Gort. And uh, okay, we're gonna speed ahead. <laughs> 